I also extend a warm welcome to our parents. Today, we are going to have great fun. We are going to have a nice story time. Listening to stories is always exciting. When I was a child like you, my grandma used to share so many stories with me. But I always liked to listen to fairy tales and fables. Fairy tales are full of mysteries, excitements and fantasies. Though the hero and heroine of the tales experiences difficulties or hardships, but with hard work and wisdom, they overcome all the challenges. These happily ever after stories reassure us that somehow, in some way, with time, everything will be all right in the end. So children, today I'll make you meet my two friends, Molly and Andy. They have planned a surprise for you. Would you like to know what it is? Hi, Andy. Hi, Molly. Good evening, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm good. I know you both are waiting to meet the children since long. Now, I don't want to come between you and children. Over to both of you. Thank you, ma'am. It's a beautiful evening today and it's a pleasure to be here for the show. Right, so welcome everyone to a beautiful storytelling show. Molly, the kids are looking so smart and intelligent. Yes, I can see. They are looking smart like the pigs. <laughs> pigs, they are not smart. They are just lumbering along the roadside. No, dear. They are very intelligent. They can recall their names when they are two weeks old. And you know what? They run very fast. Around seven miles per minute. Could you do that any better? Oh, no way. I can hardly walk. Okay. So, if we're talking about pigs, would you like to hear a beautiful story of three little pigs? Yes, why not? Even the students are waiting for us. So, let's get started. Once upon a time, they lived in with their mother in a small house. It was time for them to leave their home and to learn to live on their own. Their mother called the three piglets next day. My dear children, time has come for you to go out into the world. Go and start your new life. But be aware of the big bad bull. So whatever you do in this world, do the best you can. A little sad, but with a bit of excitement, the three little piglets said goodbye to their mom and were on their way. After a while, they found some piece of land where they could build their home. Phew! I am tired of walking. I am going to build my house right here with straw. It's so light and easy to build with. The youngest pig was determined to build his home with straw. He thought this was the easiest and the fastest way to build a home. That way, he had heaps of time to play. He finished his house in one day and yelled out to the other pigs. Hey! Hey guys! I am over with it. I am already finished. 
Hmm. No way. But this house doesn't look steady at all. How we protect ourselves from the bull? The youngest piglet didn't take any notice of his brother. Hey, don't worry. Nothing will happen. Hey, dear. I am warning you. Rest is your wish. The middle piglet decided to make his house out of wood. From the branches he had collected in the woods, he decided to build a puppy house. His house took exactly three days to finish. This house was a bit sturdier than one with straw. The other piglets walked over towards him. Hmm, my dear brother, you have done a great job. But it doesn't look safe at all. Is this house going to protect us from both? Hmm. Don't worry. This house is very safe. Don't worry, my brother. Okay. It's my duty to warn you. Rest is your wish. While the two little pigs were having a great time in their newly built homes, the eldest of them all was constantly working because he was building a home from bricks and rocks. The other piglets thought his effort was useless. All they did was play around and kill time. <laughs> Why bother yourself so much when you can quickly finish like we have? <laughs> the eldest pig didn't bother listening to them. He worked for one whole week and managed to finish his house made out of bricks and rocks. So finally, the three little piglets made beautiful houses. The eldest one of them all made a strong house out of bricks and stone. The middle pig made a cute house of sticks which he had collected from the woods. And the little tiny piglet, the youngest of all, made a cute house out of straws. So, now, a day later, a hungry wolf came around near their home. He first stood in front of the house in a straw and the little piglet was resting inside. Ah, 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 ah. I am the bad wolf. Wow! Ah, nice smell of flesh. Ha, ha. I'll eat him up. Yeah! Open the door and let me in. If you don't, I'll off and puff and blow your house in. Ah. No, my house is steady enough. No, no way by here of chinny chin chin. Ah. There I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <laughs> The big bad blew with all his might. 
with good effort the little pig managed to get away and off he ran over to his brother house made of tree branches brother pig brother pig let me in he blew my house the wolf is coming here don't worry the wolf can't come in here he can't do anything to us in this house we are safe here after a while the wolf came by and yelled outside the second pig's house ah ha ha little pig little pig open the door and let me in if you don't i'll huff and i'll puff and blow your house in abam you can't blow my house in no 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 way by here of chini chin chin so the wolf huffed and puffed and blew their houses in and brought it down both piglets ran to the third piglet house and barely got away from the wolf brother brother the wolf is right behind what we got to do he has blown our houses yes yes please let us in please let us in don't worry the wolf can't come in this house come come fast hurry up come inside a little later the starving wolf came by the third piglet house bricks and stones and yelled to the three piglets ah, ah, ah. Uh, open the door and let me in if you don't i'll huff and puff and i'll blow your house in ah, you can try you bad wolf you cannot come in this house the wolf got very angry he huffed and puffed but nothing happened he tried and tried and he couldn't move one single brick finally being exhausted the wolf decided to try another way to go in he saw the chimney up on the roof and started to climb realizing that the wolf was coming up on the roof and could come down the chimney the piglet quickly lit up the fireplace right under the chimney the wolf climbed up climbed up climbed up and threw himself in and went straight down ah ah what the hell is going on Ah uh, somebody help please help i am burning ah uh, uh, please stop me somebody please uh, uh, uh. finally being free from the wolf the piglets jumped with joy yeah yeah 
piglet went to the mother to tell her all that had happened. Mama pig, Mama pig, we have to tell you something. You were right, Mom. We should not be lazy. If we work for something, it will be a success. From that day on, the two pigs were never lazy. They worked hard like their big brother and lived a happy and safe life. Wow! Hooray! Hooray! The wolf has run away! Hooray! So, the two little pigs of hay and stick learnt a lesson all about work and bricks. A hard work job won't fall, fall, fall to a huff or a puff or all. Wow, that was a beautiful story, Andy. I hope the kids have really enjoyed today. Andy, somebody is coming towards our side. Oh, wait, let me see. Yes, it's Mama Pig. So let's welcome her. Good evening, Mama Pig. Because you have been very good spectators. Oh, so what you learn from this story? Hard work pays off. Responsibility and dedication towards your work brings happiness and fruitful results. So you should always give your hundred percent. Yay! Oh, amazing my piglets! Oh, I want to be there with them! Oh! Hello, children! So, you all have seen the beautiful story? Let me ask you a few questions. The first one, how many piglets were there in the story? Two, one, three. Who wants to give this answer? Please raise your hand. Yes, anyone? May I come? Yes, good night, ma. Ma, Miss. Yes, good. Well done. Good. The answer is three. There were three piglets. Youngest piglet, middle piglet, and the eldest piglet. Well done, my dear. Clap for you. Now, the second one. Which was? The strongest house, brick house, straw house, wood house. Anyone would like to give the answer? Please raise your hand. Ma'am? Yes. Because it is made up of bricks, stones and cement. Well done, my dear. Clapping for you. And the last one. Was the wolf good or bad? Hmm, who will give this answer? <coughs> Loudly, yes. Well done, my dear. Very good. The wolf was bad. He 
wants to eat little little piglets yes so my dear children you should always be kind and friendly to others yes ding dong ding dong oh doorbell let me see who is at the door Someone has sent me a gift. Oh, this pink box is looking very beautiful, isn't it? Let me see who has sent. Hmm. Oh, Mama Pig has sent me this gift. Hmm. Love you, Mama. Now let's see what is inside the box. Yeah. Oh, pink flower! It is looking so beautiful. Yes. Pink candies. Hmm. It looks so tempting. You want to eat? No, no, no. It's for me. balloon i think we have party at home let me call mama pig ring 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 hello who's there hello mama hello my baby oh, i was missing you how are you baby i am fine mama Thank you for this beautiful gift, Mama. You have sent me this pink balloon. Is this a party balloon? Yes, my child. This is party balloon. You know, you guessed it right. Soon we'll get together and have a party blast. Yay! Yay. But you know. But you know, in spite of this party balloon, to to decorate for the party, how we can use it? Mm. Any idea? No, Mama. Okay, then I'll teach you. Yay! So, what we need? One balloon. One pink balloon. Yes. One marker. Black marker, yes, and we need craft sheet, light pink craft sheet, yay! So I'll teach you one very interesting thing, yay! Oh my God, how did it look? How does it look like? Oh, like my piglet's nose, cutie, cutie nose. Oh, oh. Okay, so what we can do, what should we do for the first? We will draw two eyes here. Okay. Wait. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It's no working. I don't know what happened to it. Why did we do it? Yeah, it's not working. Why? Oh, something went wrong to this. Uh oh. Anyways, I have one more. So, what we can do first? We can make two eyes. Yes. One on the left side, right? And one on the right side. Yay! These are two cutie eyes. Yay! What we need? Oh, pink nose and two cutie cutie eyes. Yes! To see Mama Pig. Yay! Now, what you need? You will cut out two ears. Yes, small ears. You will fix one on the right side and you will fix the other on the left side. Yay! Cutie! 
Wow, it reminds me of my pig leg, you know? Now, what do you need? You need two legs to fix hair. Yay! Oh, wow. So, my piggy is ready to walk. Yay! Hey, by your of Chinti Chin Chin, my piggy is ready. Yay! How are you? Let's play one exciting game. Yes, which game do you want to play? Go? No. Carrom board? No. Let's play one missing game. Yes. An exciting game. Yes. I've got a beautiful scene for you. There are two piglets here which have come to their big brother house. Yes. Okay. And now let's see what is missing in this picture. This is the big house, the big brother house. And you will find out the missing things. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh but the big brother is cooking the food inside the house and he's feeling so oh. So what's missing in this house? Oh, chimney. Yes. Use chimney to take out the smoke from the house. Oh, my big brother is feeling better now because the smoke has come out. Yes. Okay, children, do let me know from where the pigs will enter. There is no door. So, we will fix the door here. Yes. The door was missing. Yes. Okay, children, now, door, now the door is there. What's missing? How we will open the door. There is no? No. Yes. So we need the knob to fix the door. Yes. We will fix the knob. So with the help of knob we can open the door. Yes. Okay children. This is the house is made of yellow brick. So what's missing in this house? In this wall? Hmm, let's find out one brick. Yes, yellow, yellow, pretty from no, yellow, yellow, say hello. Yes, so we will fix the one brick and, and it will be complete. Yes, okay, children, two, let me know. How many piglets were there in the story? Two or three? There were three piglets. Yes. Two piglets are here. One piglet is missing. So where he has gone? Oh, I think he has gone to sleep. Yes. So let me, let's call him back. Yes, he's back. Okay. The third piglet is back. Now all the three pigs are together. together. So let's go to Mama Pig and they will enjoy the dance. Yes, they are happy now. They will We'll go to Mama Pig and they will enjoy with them, Mama. Yes. Hey. Oh, I'm happy. Now I'm with my piglet. Yeah. Now we'll have a party together. Yay.